was a sort of an odd mixture of futuristic spaceship, quite a rustic, rugged feeling. It feels almost like a shell that's been dropped onto this grassy bank. I was imagining it to be quite a sort of heavy thing. And the fact that it's so thin and fragile is really unusual and interesting. I like the fact that it's sort of the kind of handmade quality of it, but it's still very monumental. I think the light quality is really beautiful in the space. You have the sort of the difference between natural light in the middle courtyard and outside spaces, and then this filtered amber light through the fabric. I think that that's a really beautiful effect. It's uh, the roughest pavilion we've seen for a while, which is nice. I heard that he made a model out of masking tape and papier-mâché, and you can see the model has kind of been expanded. It's been blown up into this huge glazed donut. And I love the way you can see all the Frankenstein stitching. It's very organic, having the rocks around. Because, you know, it looks like from outside very heavy on the top of the rocks, but it's hollow and gives a lightness. From the exterior, it feels so solid. And yeah, when you go inside, the fact that it suddenly becomes translucent is quite unexpected. Um, and I think, I think that will look, I think that will be at its best after dark. I think that is, it's, it would be very impressive anywhere around the world because it's very um, intriguing and different from many perspective points of view. So very different for South America design and architecture as well.